We are going over to Tobago first mm -hmm. to find out what is happening there because Carry Fest are not just happening in Trinidad but also in Tobago. Absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. let's join now the Tobago Festival coordinator, Tobago representative, Carry Fest, the National Secretariat, Mr. Elvis Ragman. And Rajman. we are going to find out what is happening there in Tobago. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, so what is happening in Tobago with Carry Festa? Well, Carry Car Festa is alive and well and kicking in Tobago. Tobago started on the 19th of, um, of August. Um, today is our third day. Yesterday we had a bumper time at Castara with the bonfire. Sharon Phillips broke the entire place down. Carry Festa is just kicking in Tobago. Ah, what is happening today? So today we have the, today's our final day for Carry Festa in Tobago. Okay. So Carry Festa in Tobago happens from the 19th to the 21st. We started at the Scarborough Esplanade with our Grand Market, which has been a tremendous success. We're inviting people to come down at the Grand Market every day. We have lunchtime performances um, and after work performances from 4 p.m. where we have different countries showcasing their works along local performers. Um, this evening, we are at Shaw Park. Mm -hmm. And today, we, tonight, we have our premiere performance by called the Tobago Island Vibes Night. What was the turnout like for the events over the last three days for the events in Tobago? It was phenomenal. Um, on, on Monday, we, the Carrie Festa Village opened on kickoff. The, we had the chief secretary there. We had the minister. We had a good turnout of the general public that's coming out and partaking in the Grand Market experience. Then we moved into Pembroke from 7 p.m. And that show was jaw-dropping. Um, there was no standing space at the Pembroke Heritage Park. It was totally, totally filled. And the experience there by Haiti and St. Vincent was something that just totally blew everyone's mind. And the Pembroke Village Council, they did an excellent job in presenting the Salaka. So it was a beautiful experience. Last night, Castara with their bonfire, um, we had Belize and Antigua and Barbuda, Castara, and they totally broke Castara down. I mean, right now we are still trying to find Sharon Phillips because she took this, the event to another level last night. So Castara, Pembroke was a great turnout. Castara, even greater, and we expect it to get its, its highest of high tonight at Shaw Park, 7 p.m. How do you see these events helping boost the tourism market in Tobago? Well, this gives us, I mean, the Division of Tourism, Culture and Transportation is responsible for really promoting the island culture and promoting the island tourism product. And we believe very strongly in cultural tourism. So we see Carifest as a platform where we could really help bridge the gap so people understand and see what ha what's happening here in Tobago. People could see from Haiti, Haiti was able to connect with things that happens in Pembroke in terms of the Salaka. And there are people who have already um, expressed they would love to be back here for the Tobago Heritage Festival. People from Antigua and Belize who came to Castara, they will love to return at some point in time. So we see the, these activities such as Cari Festa as bridging the gap and really placing Tobago um, on, the, on, on, on the wider platform in terms of cultural, cultural tourism. And we are pushing that very big within the division of tourism, culture and transportation. Yeah, because a lot of talk about tourism and how we're going to boost that and the Tobago Tourism Agency is supposed to be playing an important role in that yes. as well. Yeah. So what next for Tobago other than the Carry Fest events of 2019 since we're talking about this whole tourism product? Well, the division, the division has a number of activities under its mandate. Um, we have the Tobago Festivals Commission who has a number of festivals that they manage. So um, coming after Carry Fest, uh, there's the Blue Food Festival, among many other festivals that we have in the works. So um, we, we, we like to call Tobago the festival island. So every month there is some sort of festivity happening on the island. So as soon as the Cari Festa season is over, Tobago will be moving, shifting gears into another event that the, the general public will be aware of right after the Cari Festa season. So the, the division is constantly trying to keep Tobago very, very much on the map, very much very out there, very vibrant. And I believe that, you know, so far we've been doing a, a, a pretty good job. I'm very excited um, coming out of the Cari Festa and moving into the other works that we have in the pipeline. Right. So now to, to get back to Cari Festa this evening, um, could you just tell me where we're at once again? So this evening, um, Wednesday 21st, 
we, from 10 a.m. this morning to 6 p.m., we are at the Scarborough Esplanade. Today will be the final day of the of the Grand Market. Um, mm -hmm. We want people to come down and see what's going on in the Grand Market. We also want people to travel to Shore Park to really experience our visual arts. We have the Tobago Visual Arts Association mounting a beautiful exhibition. Tom Lee and his team did an excellent job. We're enticing people to journey down to Shore Park right. and partake in what's going on in Shore Park with the visual arts. As well as later this evening from 7 p.m., we have a free show at the Shore Park Complex where we are featuring Dominica, St. Lucia, and Haiti is back. Haiti loves Tobago. So Haiti loved Tobago so much that they're selling like another band. So, and then we have our feature performance by the Tobago Performing Arts Company who will be doing a grand production at Shore Park. All right, so a lot of activities to look forward to this evening. Thank you very much uh, for joining us, telling us what is happening there for Cari Festa and some of the other plans for Tobago, the Tobago Festival's coordinated Tobago representative, Cari Festa National Secretariat. Uh, we're going to take a break and come back with more stories.